Hi, welcome to Manitoba Chicken Producers Facebook Live. I'm Gina Sunderland and I'm the Food and Consumer Relations Specialist with Manitoba Chicken Producers. We're so glad you could join us. We're here in celebration of Canada's Ag Day that is going to be February 12th, mark your calendar. And we are also here to celebrate Valentine's Day by making a couple terrific Manitoba chicken recipes. I'm joined by my son, Joel. Hi. And his friend, Dustin. Hi there. And our first fantastic recipe is chicken and pesto pizza bun. So instead of going out for Valentine's Day this year, why not stay home in the comfort of your own home and make a couple easy, delicious recipes for your friends and your family. So I'm gonna get Joel and Dustin to get started here. We love this recipe. I think you said something earlier that it's absolutely- It's delicious, it's so good. I mean, I love chicken and, and this is one of my favorite recipes with chicken, so yeah. So first yeah. I spread the tomato <laughs> pesto sauce on. Okay, yeah, it's kind of neat. So one of the things that adds just a ton of flavor to this recipe is it's a tomato pesto instead of a regular pizza sauce. And this is a super pantry staple. If you haven't tried it before, I'm certain you're gonna love it. So Joel and Dustin did a great job while we were getting ready here. They just got a pizza dough, they spread it out instead of around, they spread it out to a perfect rectangle. So if anyone's ever made cinnamon buns, these are kind of like savory cinnamon buns with a lot of delicious chicken and cheese. So you can buy pizza dough at most delis now and uh, just spread it out into a rectangle. And then the next step is, what are you gonna do there, Dustin? Pour our uh, oregano and oil. Oregano and basil, oregano a and tablespoon basil. of each. There it's a little louder. There we go. Ooh, it's looking good already. So that really brings in those pizza flavors. Spread this out. Yeah, you just too. give it a little spreading out. Brilliant, guys, looking good. And oh, it smells good too. I love the smell of basil. Now you yeah. wanna add your cheese. Right. So two cups of shredded cheese. You can use your favorite kind, mozzarella. This is mozzarella and cheddar. So these buns are just loaded. They're delicious. And then the next ingredient so we have is, is- Our special ingredient is our chicken. Cup, so yeah, yeah, that is our superstar yeah. ingredient. Um, so last night for supper, I roasted chicken breasts. And this is a super way to use up leftover roast chicken. So if you're ever roasting chicken, I always say if you roast one, roast two. I always roast extra chicken breasts for sandwiches, for putting on top of salads, and for this delicious chicken and pesto pizza bun recipe that you can find at manitobachicken.ca. So Joel, next step is? Gotta roll it up. So you want yeah. to start. Roll it tightly as you can. Yep. Looks like you're doing a good job. Good job. Sort of pull it back as you're rolling it. Yes. And there's a couple of little the secrets to roll. Yeah, he's doing good. The tighter the better. Everything's going to stay together nicely if you roll it tighter. So roll it as tight as you can. So what now? Get the seam together. Excellent, Joel. Excellent. Pinch it together so nothing comes out. And we're going to put the seam down, hold it together. Yeah. And then just form it into shape a Right, bit. right. You just give it that little squeeze. Get it nice and even. Perfect. Okay, so next step is? Then you want to cut it right in the middle. Yeah, so you find the middle spot. And you want to cut it into two more. So you get six in total. Excellent job, guys. These, oh, these are looking good. So Dustin, on that pan, we've got a, another secret ingredient. What is that? This is our cornmeal. Just yes. to uh, add some crunch to the buns and make some non stick to the pan and just make some taste a little nicer and fresh. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so now <clears throat> you guys are just gonna move those over onto the pan. You guys are amazing. So, so we'll push them down. Push them down so they get yeah. them all stuck together. I love it, I love it. Looks so good. I cannot wait to try these. And you know what? At Manitoba Chicken Producers, we represent 120 family-owned farms producing delicious and nutritious chicken for all of us year round. So I think that on February 12th, Canada's Ag Day, we should take a moment to really thank our farmers. 
So if you want to use the hashtag I Heart Chicken Farmers and let chicken farmers know how grateful you are for the hard work that they do for all of us. So we have that super delicious high protein chicken and it's so versatile. So there's one more little oh, ingredient yes. here. Almost forgot. And, yeah. So you want to put some Parmesan on top? Just mm -hmm. top I'll it hold off. that for you guys. Give it some extra flavor and you can push it in. Yeah, that just really it holds, holds them all it together. together. Those look awesome, guys. So you can see just how easy it is to bring this recipe together. So no need to dine out when you can whip together something this delicious and nutritious so fast. So these are our chicken and pesto pizza buns. I cannot wait for these to come out of the oven, guys. All right, so Dustin, you wanna open the oven for Dustin Joel? Way to go. So recipe number one is underway. And we'd like to thank anyone who's just tuning in. Thanks for joining us. And I'd like to share with you a fantastic prize pack. So we have two of these prize packs. All you have to do is tune into this feed and ask us a question and you will be eligible to win this wonderful Manitoba chicken swag. We've got a great silicone glove, a barbecue scraper, our signature barbecue sauce, brand new Manitoba chicken measuring spoons, a basting brush, and something that I love, my favorite kitchen tool is a meat thermometer. So with a meat thermometer, you always know that your chicken is done perfectly. And when you're cooking chicken parts, they should be 165 degrees or ground chicken. If you're making patties, we're gonna make our spicy lemon chicken bites next, 165 degrees or 180 degrees for a whole roast chicken. All right, guys, we're all set for our second super recipe. These are called spicy lemon chicken bites and chicken is so versatile. So what we're doing in this recipe is we are using ground chicken. The other recipe we use leftover roast chicken and this is great because we're gonna use ground chicken. So if you've never tried it before, super high in protein, super lean. So I'm gonna have Joel and Dustin just mix this together just to get things going. It's a pound of ground chicken, the juice of half a lemon, the zest of a lemon, there's oregano, there's basil, there's a little bit of pepper flakes. So um, if you like things spicy, you have the pepper flakes. If you don't, you don't have to. And half a cup of breadcrumbs, a minced small onion, and some fresh parsley. And this just all comes together. It smells really good even just mixing it. Mm -hmm. And then you make these little patties and Joel and Dustin are gonna show you guys just how easy it is to do this. So these are really fun. We've made them bite size if you're having a Valentine's party. You can also make them into full size patties. And Joel, we've made them another way too, right? Mm -hmm. When have you done with them? We made them into hamburgers. That's right, yeah. And then if, and if you don't um, have the little pitas, there's another way you can make these really enjoyable too. You can too. get small wraps and just wrap them up in there. There you go. So you guys are ready for Valentine's, I see. I think so. <laughs> Way to go. Nice. You never cease to surprise me. Okay. I think this looks pretty good. It looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't even need to over mix it. It's just right where you are. So if you guys just want to take that tablespoon and show how easy it is to make these little bites. And we've got another little secret cooking trick like we did with our Parmesan and our cornmeal with our other recipe. That's great, Joel. Yep. You want to push one. them down yep. in the center? Right, and when you flatten the center, it helps them cook more evenly. This is a super quick recipe. These broil for only about six minutes. You flip them at about the three minute mark. You can use your meat thermometer to check and make sure they're at 165 degrees, but they're just super easy. So those look great. So too. And they do that lemon, you can really smell the lemon. That's nice. It smells really good. So for those of you that are just tuning in, welcome to Manitoba Chicken Producers Facebook Live in celebration of Canada's Ag Day, February 12th. Opportunity to thank your farmers, thank the chicken farmers for the fantastic chicken they produce for us year round. So we have an excellent source of nutritious, delicious, and versatile protein. Nothing better than chicken and also great opportunity to win this wonderful Manitoba chicken swag for tuning into our Facebook Live. 
All right, those look great. So I am just going to sneak those over there, and I am going to just slide some of those cooked chicken bites right over for you guys, and you can show everyone just how super easy it is to put these together. So if you guys are having friends over on Valentine's evening, this is a great recipe you can make for your friends or with your friends. Super easy to put them together. You just mm -hmm. take a pita, take one of your chicken bites, you put it inside. Pull it apart from the middle. Yeah. It's yeah. just the right amount of space. A cucumber. In there. And a tomato. Delicious. That looks fantastic. And I feel like if you wanted to put anything else in here other than cucumbers or tomatoes, I feel like you could feel free to do that too. So it's just more of a preference thing, I think. Yeah, I bet it'd be good with a little bit of cheese, maybe. Yeah, that too. Um, and there's a delicious yogurt sauce that goes with this, a nice lemony yogurt sauce using high-protein Greek yogurt. You can use that if you want it, or a mayonnaise. I like those ideas. Yeah. <coughs> Way to go, guys. So those come together pretty fast, eh? Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. These are delicious. They make great leftovers too, so a super sandwich for the next day. So if you guys are planning to have friends over, this is an awesome option that you can make with your friends. The pitas do kind of fall apart a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. That's all right. And I think, Joel, that's why sometimes you like to make these using... Yeah, with the wraps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it also works really well. Yeah, you just wrap it up. Excellent. I'm, I'm Excellent. Really like so those are great, they're yeah. cute, they're bite-sized, but like you said too, you can make them into a whole hamburger-sized right. patty. Yes. Mm -hmm. So those are delicious and they're quick and you can see how fast uh, Dustin and Joel were able to put those together. So thanks very much, guys. So we really, really are happy that all of you were able to join us this evening for our Manitoba Chicken Producers Facebook Live. We'd like to encourage you to thank a farmer on Canada's Ag Day on February 12th. Also, you know, make these recipes to celebrate Valentine's Day. Of course, we know February 14th. Cooking is fun. It's delicious. It's nutritious. It's good for us. And it allows us to incorporate a lot of healthy ingredients like our vegetables, our tomatoes, our cucumbers, along with our lean chicken. Mm -hmm. So now we're happy to open up the floor to any questions. So we have a lot of questions coming in here. So what is the internal cooking temperature of chicken? Right, so with our prize packs, you'll get to win a Manitoba Chicken Producers Meat Thermometer. When you are cooking ground chicken, like our spicy lemon chicken bites, the center of the thickest part of the patty should read 165 degrees. And if you're cooking chicken parts, same thing, 165 degrees. If you're roasting a whole chicken, which we love to do on the weekends, and like I always say, if you're gonna roast one, roast two, it should be 180 degrees inserted into the thickest part of the breast. That's the thickest part of the meat. Okay, um, we had someone ask where to get pizza dough. Most grocery store delis sell pizza dough now. You can also buy frozen bread dough and let it uh, come up to temperature and rise. So, and also, um, we make it quite often in our bread maker machine. Yeah. Great. Um, and how long can chicken stay in the fridge or the freezer? Okay, well, if you have fresh chicken, it can be in the fridge for three days, as well as if it's cooked, it can be in the fridge for three days. And when you do roast leftover or have leftover chicken, like roast chicken breast, you can actually freeze it once it's cooked and bring it out for making things like our chicken and pesto pizza buns. If you have a deep freeze, you can actually freeze chicken for up to 12 months. If it's more of a fridge freezer, like you can see here, six months. Great questions. Uh, we have a question for Joel and Dustin. What is your favorite chicken recipe? Um, I would say my favorite is, uh, like I said earlier, the, the pizza bites for sure. They're very good. Um, I really like just all of everything together just complements uh, the recipe itself very well. And uh, another one of my favorites is probably just chicken parmesan as well. It's a classic, so I really like that too. Yes. I really like all these recipes here and just like a simple chicken sandwich is really good as well. Mm -hmm. That's true, and chicken is so versatile. There's so many different cuts and you can do so many things with it. Yeah, that's what I like about chicken. You can put it in almost anything. Yeah, it's true, yeah. you can put it in anything. All right, so we'd like to thank 
everyone for tuning in this evening to our Facebook Live. You can get our recipes at manitobachicken.ca and we'd really like to hear from you. So I'm Gina Sunderland. I'm the Food and Consumer Relations Specialist Dietitian and I look forward to connecting with you. Any questions about how to cook with chicken or chicken farming, I'd be happy to answer. And a big, huge thank you to my junior chefs, Joel and Dustin, for joining me today to make these delicious Manitoba chicken recipes. Happy Valentine's Day and happy Canada Egg Day to all of our fantastic farmers.